Ooh. That's really off. That's right. Do you have a strip club addiction? Maybe you just participate in a few illegal activities. Have a DRUG addiction in a non-DRUG addiction friendly area? Or maybe you're just a broke traveler. What do all of these things have in common? Exactly, they require dead presidents, cash money, that paper, if you will. So while you travel, you'll realize that most places in second and third world countries don't have credit card machines or they simply don't know how to use them. On top of that, if they do have a machine, you'll usually be charged 3% or more convenience fee or the fee that the credit card company applies to the, to the transaction. So what does that leave you with? Pulling cash out of ATMs. Once again, fees, fees, fees. So, so many fees, so many fees. Especially if you're gonna be traveling from country to country to country, you're gonna to have to keep pulling out the currency for that country. So it's just like, you might pull out of an ATM 15 times in one month. So usually you'll be charged between three and seven US dollars to pull out of these ATMs. Oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty, it's so hot here. That is where this comes in. Get this, oh, that's my, let's see, cover this bad boy up. This is my Charles Schwab debit card. Don't steal my information, don't do it. This debit card has zero ATM fees worldwide, which is pretty dope shit if I do say so myself. So all you have to do to open one of these accounts is do it. There's no fee, there's no limits, there's no fees so you don't have to have a certain amount of money in the account. The only thing is you will automatically open up a brokerage account that's linked to this che checking account. You don't have to use it, but you will automatically open it up. That is the stipulation. But if you're not investing your money already, you should use the account. It's an awesome investing account and that's what I use to invest most of my money. And uh, yeah, so if you're not investing, it might be a good thing that it automatically opens the account anyway. Start investing, dummy. Most of the time when you use the card, you won't be charged ATM fees at all. They'll never even be seen on your account. But sometimes, especially in Thailand, I always realize in Thailand, I get charged the fees and then at the end of the month, I get like a credit from Schwab for usually like 20 bucks or 25 bucks. And, uh, yeah, but that's only happened to me in Thailand. Literally nowhere else I've been. So that's it for today. Just a little short travel hack. I hope you have fun with all your cash, your Coke, your cane, your cross strip traveling, all your traveling stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep this channel monetized. So, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna stop there. I think it's, it's probably a good idea anyway. It's, I don't know what I'm, what I'm really doing that isn't necessary. I, I just thought like, what do you need cash for? Traveling, and D R U G S motorbike. So be sure to subscribe to your friend and fellow human, Sam. That's me. You could probably do it right over here, maybe. Uh, maybe not yet, though, but maybe here in a little bit. Or maybe over here. I don't know. Also, give this video a thumbs up and write a comment down below if you have any other questions related about like travel tips, travel stuff, like how I do something. I'll try to include it in my next video if it makes sense, if it's good. If it's a dumb question, though, I won't listen to you. You know, so many people, they have such dumb questions. They say there's no dumb questions, but it's, it's, it's not true. There's, there's so many dumb questions. Just look through YouTube comments. You'll see. Trust me. You will see. So, yeah. Anyway, um, goodbye.